The main goal for this 3.7 release was to improve the pipeline with games. In order to do that, we have updated the naming templates rules, we have updated the way that we can control the joint orientation, but also we include a new pack of uh, new components that has been called Epic Components, that we can find it at the end, or if we just search here, it's uh, case sensitive, so we can find it here. And these components have been designed to work by default with the uh, Epic or uh, Unreal Engine and um, standards with the names and joint orientations. But of course, this can be used with any other game engine. So we have also by default two templates. So if we go uh, to the shifter menu, guide template samples, you will find that we have the metahuman template and the mannequin template. There is a slightly differences. I'm gonna explain it in a little. But it's almost the same. I think the main difference is that the spine is it's a different component for each of these uh, templates. And um, it, the template comes also with the pre-configured um, pre uh, naming rules. So, of course, if you use the default naming rules, it's not going to work. So, just let me delete this naming space I have here so it's a bit more cleaner. So if I open my settings for the guy root, you will see here we have this naming rules set. So we have component site and description and for the joints description site. And we have the left right uh, side level but no center level and the controls extension and so on. It's the same. To be honest, this extension here we can uh, change it to like default because the most important is the joint orientation, uh, sorry, the join uh, naming template that we have here. So this will give us one-to-one uh, -one, uh, like match with the names and joint orientation and I'm gonna show you here that if we go here and again display the orientations we have exactly the same orientation and exactly the same name for each of the joints. So basically we can take this template, we can plug it on Unreal Engine and it should take all the configuration that you already did. There is a few difference that I would like to point. One of the difference is the way that the role is set on the mannequin. It's here at the top while here it's centered in the middle. That's um, not a big uh, problem because it's just rolling this so it should be okay and if you need to change it if you really need to to have it in the same position you just can go to the um, to the locator that it's uh, set here and change this u value to match that it will not affect the orientation you can see the join should be almost the same well a little bit but not too much and the reason because it's happening is because uh, we do it this procedurally so we, we can have more than one cut so just say I want the mannequin with uh, maybe two or four uh, rolls so this will evenly distribute it and here it's in the middle so that's one of the difference the other difference that you may know uh, you must be aware it's that the um, mannequin itself the uh, the three joints that define the uh, limbs in elbows, uh, sorry, in arms and legs, the rotation it's not in the same plane that it's defined by the three uh, joint positions. So you may have to adjust a little bit this guide to match it better in the frontal. So you can see here my up vector it's facing frontal here. So that is the main uh, difference that you may find. And the reason because we have this is because the M-Gear solver only works in a, this uh, plane defined by the three joints. But actually this should not be uh, like that. And you will see that in the me MetaHuman um, it's in the same plane. So it should be the correct way to do it. And just to show you how it looks basically I have here the same example 
where I just extracted this, by the way, this uh, mannequin, it's from the uh, control rig sample from Epic uh, Store. And I just imported the FVX data and exported the skin in with uh, the MGear uh, skin, export skin, and then build my MGear template and re import it. And everything worked as expected. So we have everything attached and all the controls are working perfectly. So that's one of the things. Okay, let's check out the other uh, template. So for the metahuman template, we have the spine that it's slightly different. So we can see here we have the spine that is the one that is going for the metahuman. You can see here it match the metahuman spine structure. And we have the spine card on that it's the one that it's um, derivated from the spine S shape 01. And I want to talk about the spine here because it's important to understand how it works. So by default, metahuman uh, comes with a uh, four uh, joints here that defines the bending area of the spine so these joints must be in a specific position and distribution so the way it's working right now it's that these two handles not only support the the handle position but it will be used to calculate the position of the joint so this handle will project on this reference curve that it's a bit thicker and it will put here the joint and the same here so it's not gonna be like 100 percent exact match but it's gonna be very accurate so the good thing to use this system like this is like if you want less or more sections it will distribute it equally so basically what it does is if you have only one division it's gonna use the first one that it's this one the base if you use the default division, so let me open the settings here, so you can see now we have four divisions. So this is the first, and zero, one, two, three. So it's gonna take this. If we add more, what it's gonna do? It's it's not gonna take this as a sample of the position, but it's gonna distribute it evenly. So this way we have this, a system that it can match when we need to match exactly with the metahuman template. But at the same time, it will allow you to create a more uh, dense, uh, let's say, uh, spine uh, or joint uh, chain. Okay, so let's um, let's build this one. And just a little reminder that both of these epic templates are C up axis. Means that you need to change your settings in your properties or preferences from Y up to C up. Once we have this, just can go and build. And this, and this will be the exact match that the new MetaHuman template have.